Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's try to understand the differences between blocking and non-blocking assignment operators in Verilog. So, if you quick look at the differences, the main difference is that in the assignment, blocking assignment is going to take the equal operator. Means, blocking assignments are represented with equal operator. Non-blocking assignment are going to be represented with less than equal operator. So, if we are going to write y is equal to a plus b, that equal operator representing you are using blocking assignment. If you write y less than equal to a plus b, then it is non-blocking assignment. That is the first difference with respect to the operators, how we are going to use. And blocking assignments are going to be executed in series. And non-blocking assignments are going to be executed in parallel. Series means, suppose if you have three statements, y is equal to a plus b, and then some x is equal to a minus b and then uh, some p is equal to a into b. So y is equal to a plus b will be executed first, then x is equal to a minus b will be executed, then p is equal to a into b something will be executed. So it will take an order of the expressions how we are going to write. The statements are going to be executed one after the completion of other. So the first statement will be blocking the execution of the second statement. That second statement will be blocking the execution of the third statement. Th that's why the name has given as blocking assignment. In the non-blocking assignment, if we take the same example of three statements, all the three statements will be executed at a time. So a plus b, a minus b, a into b will be calculated first and then it will be assigned to y, x and p respectively. So this non-blocking assignment is not going to block the execution of the next statement. All the statements will be executed parallel. That's why non-blocking assignments execute in parallel. Then the third difference is that usually the blocking statements or blocking operator, uh, blocking assignment operator will be used in combinational circuit design. In the uh, sequential circuit design, where the statements, the set of statements will be executed depending on some event occur or depending on the clock in such cases, usually we are going to use sequential uh, sorry, non-blocking assignments in sequential circuit design. This is the major difference between blocking and non-blocking. Let us look at an example of swapping the content of the registers from one to other. If we use a blocking assignment, you can see here, we require a temporary register. Here I have taken register AB, which holds the value of 8 bit. That's why 7 is to 0, 7 down to 0, A comma B. Here also I took the same. But in the blocking assignment, we require one more register or the temporary storage register to keep the value of any of those two registers first. Then later, we need to dump the value from the temporary register to the other one. So this is the logic using blocking assignment. First, we need to take one of the register and put it in a temporary register. The temporary register will be having B. Then we can push the value of A into B, B is equal to A then the temporary register value to A. This process executes in this way. First temp is equal to B will be executed. Then after B is equal to A will be executed. Then A is equal to temp will be executed. But in the swapping of uh, two registers using blocking assignment, you can see directly we can write A less than equal to B and B less than equal to A. This doesn't require any temporary register. Why? Because at a time, the content of B will be pushed to A, at the same time, A will be pushed to B. There might be no chance of race between the two here. Directly, we can take the value of B to A and A to B at a time. So if you follow th that step over here, there might be a conflict between the copy. So let us see uh, while execution of this code using a simulator. So you can see here, this is uh, using blocking assignment. I have taken a temporary register and uh, AB registers with uh, 7 down to 0, means 8 bit. I have taken 7 and 4 for the values of A and B. And uh, I am using a display statement here for displaying some uh, message before swapping. So these are the values before swapping. And using blocking assignment, we are trying to swap the temporary register and then A is equal to uh, B is equal to A and temp is equal to A. Then after swapping, 
uh, I am putting the message as swapped. And also I am using a monitor statement here. This gives you the values of A and B whenever it changes. So if you run this, I will save and run. Here I am using the Synopsys VCS simulator. You can also change that simulator and uh, run. So you can see here, uh, this statement is coming from the this display statement before swapping at zero time. We have A is equal to seven and B is equal to four. After 10 time minutes, I am swapping. So after 10 time minutes, A becomes four and B becomes seven. So using temp register here, we can do this. Suppose if you are not going to use any temporary register and simply we are trying to put uh, like A is equal to B and B is equal to A. Suppose if you use like this, what happens? Let us save and try to run it again. Then we will see the difference, how it will happen. So here what happens? A is equal to B will be executed first. So the content of B will be pushed to A. B will be having four. So after even after swapping, A will be having four and B will be having four. Why? Because this statement executed first, the content of B is four, that will be pushed to A. Now A also will be having 4, again A will be put it on B. So we get A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 4. That's why to avoid that, we need to use a temporary register in between and we can swap using the blocking assignment. If you use the non-blocking operator over here, I will show you. If the non-blocking operator is used, there is no requirement of temporary register. Yeah, it is uh, swapped using temp. Now, no requirement of this temp. I am just using a non-blocking operator. Okay, first I will put a less than equal to b, then b less than equal to a. There is no requirement of temporary register. I will command this also. Okay. So now we are using non-blocking assignment using non-blocking assignment okay let me save this you can see now a less than equal to b b less than equal to a is the thing so if you run okay you can see uh, at zero time unit before swapping we have a is equal to 7 and B is equal to 4. After 10 time units, we have written the swap code here. So A becomes 4 and B becomes 7. This is using non-blocking assignment. This is the major difference between blocking and non-blocking operators. Here how the swapping happens means the both the statements will be executed parallelly. The same time B will be pushed to A and A will be pushed to B. How it is going to happen means the simulator will take this B value and A value calculated first and taken uh, separately. Then at the same time, it will be assigned to A and B. Here there is no requirement of temporary register we need to declare and use. By default, the simulator will take that as into a temporary register and put it into A and B. So this is the major difference between blocking and non-blocking assignment. Thank you.